everyone! I am Teacher Dana, your English teacher from Conserasat School. Today, we are going to learn about the Dinosaur Museum. Okay, I want you to get your family and friends class books. So, here are the things that we are going to learn. First, we are going to learn new vocabulary words on page 20. Second, we're going to learn about past simple irregular verbs with negatives on page 21. Third, we're going to learn about past simple irregular verbs with questions on page 24. Fourth, we are going to learn about F and PH phonetic words on page 23. Also, we're going to name pictures through games. And last but not the least, we're going to answer your class books and your yellow books. So, Dinosaur Museum. Let us learn and explore new vocabulary words about dinosaurs and about museum. Okay, picture number one. What picture is that? That is called a dinosaur. Now, what is a dinosaur? Let us read all together. A dinosaur is a fossil reptile of the Mesozoic era in many species reaching an enormous size. When you say enormous, that means very big. Some are very small. Okay. Next, we have here, what picture is this? That is a picture of... What? That is a picture of a museum. Now, what is a museum? A museum is a building in which objects of historical, scientific are stored and exhibited. Again, museum is a building on which objects of historical and scientific are stored and exhibited next we have here what picture is that that is a picture of model now what is a model a model is a three-dimensional representation of a thing typically on a smaller scale than the original again a model is a three-dimensional representation of a thing Typically on a smaller scale than the original. Okay, next. We have here, what picture is that? That is scary. Now, what is scary? It is frightening or causing fear. Again, frightening or causing fear. Next, what picture is that? Scream. Now, what is scream? Scream is an act that is making a loud, high-pitched sound by humans. Again, scream is an act that is making a loud, high-pitched sound by humans. Next, we also have here, roar. Now, what is roar? It is an act making a loud pitch sound by an animal, commonly by lions and Many more. Again, roar is an act of making a loud, high pitch sound by an animal. So if scream is for humans, roar is for the animals. Next, we have here, what picture is that? It is in your class book. That is called alive. Now, what is alive? It is a person, animal, or plant living and not dead again alive is a person animal or plant living and it is not dead very good next we have here dead now what is dead no longer alive no longer breathing no longer growing and dead okay next we have here what picture is that that is robot. Now, what is a robot? A machine resembling a human being and able to replicate certain human movements and functions automatically. Again, a robot is a machine resembling a human being and able to replicate certain human movements and functions automatically or electronically. 
Okay, so those are robots or in the picture you can see there, robots. Okay, now we're going to learn about past simple irregular verbs with negatives. Again, past simple irregular verbs with negatives. Okay, past simple are actions that is already done in the past. The spelling usually changes. If it is in a negative form, the verb remains the same. Just add didn't plus the base form of the verb. For example, we have running. The past simple there is ran. If that becomes a negative, that becomes didn't run. So run remains the same if we add didn't. If we make it into a negative form okay we have here infinitive and simple past okay the past tense of b is was for singular and were for plural for i am that becomes i was for he is he was for we are we were for beat that becomes beat become became begin began bat bat blow blue break broke bring brought okay that is an example of a simple past verbs okay we have also here catch caught choose chose come came cost cost cut cut deal dealt do did draw drew drink drank eat ate fall and fell now i want you to open your books on page 21 okay open your class books on page 21 now repeat after me buy bought eat ate go went can could no new make made see saw think thought where war right and wrote very good now i want you to open again your books on page 21 let us answer picture number one okay we blank go to the science museum together again we blank go to the science museum together okay that is simple past what happens to go if that becomes a past simple that becomes went because the past simple of go is went very good next picture number two i blank not buy a postcard again i blank not buy a postcard not by that is a negative verb so what happens if that becomes a negative verb we add didn't plus the base form of the verb so not by becomes didn't buy i didn't buy a postcard very good next picture number three okay my sister blank see her friends my sister blank see her friends okay what happens to see that is a past simple verb what happens to see if that becomes a past simple verb that becomes saw very good next number four we blank not eat our sandwiches inside again we blank not eat our sandwiches inside. Not eat. That is a negative form of a past simple. Okay, what happens to not eat? Again, we add didn't plus base form of the verb. So that becomes didn't eat. We didn't eat our sandwiches inside. Very good. Now, let us read all together. Open again your books on page 25. Okay, we blank go to a museum to learn about life of children 
2,000 years ago. Most children then not go to school and not learn to read. Many children play games in the street with yo-yos and wooden toys. Boys not wear trousers. They wear short tunics like a dress. So for number one, go. What is the past tense for go that becomes went? How about for not go that becomes didn't go? How about for not learn that becomes didn't learn? How about for play that becomes played? How about for not wear that becomes didn't wear very good how about for wear that becomes war very good okay past simple irregular verbs with questions okay here are the examples these are on your books on page 22 number one did they go to a museum yes they did again did they go to the museum yes they did did Amy buy a postcard? No, she didn't. She bought a model. Again, did Amy buy a postcard? No, she didn't. She bought a model. Okay, next, number three. Which museum did you go to? Again, which museum did you go to? We went to the dinosaur one. We went to the dinosaur one now i want you to open your books on page 23 and let us sing the song entitled my school trip again open your class books on page 23 and let us sing the song entitled my school trip listen and sing my school trip Did you go when you went on your trip? Did you go to a museum or a farm or, or a ship? ship? When it was lunch time, what did, did you, you eat? eat? Did you eat a sandwich? sandwich? Did you eat some, some meat? meat? All the new. I ate a yummy sandwich and I bought this a batch for, for you. you. Very good. Let us sing the song one more time. Teacher Daniel will listen to you, okay? Listen and sing My yes. School Trip. When you, you went, went on your trip, did you go to a, to a museum, museum or a farm or a ship? When it was lunch time, what did you eat? Did you eat the sandwich and did you eat some meat? I went, went to, to a museum, so we take salt and you. I ate a yummy sandwich, I bought this badge for you. Very good. Okay, I want you to repeat that song and sing on your own next time. Okay, now let us learn magic F and PH phonetic words. So PH is pronounced as Okay, now we have here picture number one. What picture is that? That is a picture of a flamingo. Everybody repeat after me. Flamingo. Flamingo. Next, what picture is this? Scarf. Scarf. Next, what picture is this? Feet. Feet. What 
picture is this? Phone. Phone. What picture is this? Nephew. Nephew. What picture is that? Alphabet. Alphabet. Okay, we're going to answer your books on page 23. Are you ready? Okay, I want you to open your class books on page 23. Okay. Now, what picture is this? That is S-C-A-R-N-F-R-P-H. F. That is scarf. S-C-A-R-F. Next, what picture is that? Photo. Very good. P-H-O-T-O. -O. Photo. Next, what picture is that? Phone. Very good. P-H-O-N-E. Phone. Next, what picture is that? Alphabet. A-L-P-H-A-B-E-T. Alphabet. Next, what picture is that? Flamingo. Very good. F-L-A-M-I-N-G-O. Flamingo. Next, what picture is that? Feet. Very good. F-E-E-T. Feet. Next, what picture is that? Nephew. Very good. N-E-P-H-E-W. Nephew. Next, what picture is that? Frog. Very good. F-R-O-G. Frog. Okay, I want you to get your family and friends yellow book. Don't forget to write the date and the activity number. Okay, fill in the blanks with the right form of the verbs in the brackets. Again, fill in the blanks with the right form of the verbs in the brackets. Number one, Jay brings some chocolates to the birthday party. Number two, I hear a new song on the radio. Number three, Johnny read or read three books. Number four, the Smiths Speak Italian to the waitress. Number five, Peter understands during the class, but now he doesn't understand. My mother forgot to buy milk. I'll be giving you five minutes to answer your yellow book. Okay, very good. Now, let us read the correct answer and the correct sentence. Jay brought some chocolates to the birthday party. I heard a new song on the radio. Johnny read three books. The Smiths spoke Italian to the waitress. Peter understood during the class, but now he doesn't understand. My mother forgot to buy milk okay next number seven krishna have a baby in august we lose our keys last friday they swim 500 meters yesterday afternoon i give my mother a cd for her birthday at the age of 24 she spent too much again Krishna have a baby in August. What is the proper form or the right form of the verb have? Lose, swim, give, and spend. I'll be giving you five minutes to answer your yellow book. Okay, let's read all together. Krishna had a baby in August. We lost our keys last Friday. 
They swam 500 meter yesterday afternoon. I gave my mother a CD for her birthday. At the age of 24, she spent too much. Very good. Now, let us review the lessons that we have discussed. Are you ready? Okay. So here are the things that we have learned today. First, we have learned new vocabulary words. We have their dinosaur, we have their museum, alive, dead, robot, and many more. We have also learned about past simple verbs with negatives. Didn't buy, didn't go, didn't wear, wore, wore, um, ran, swim, swam, and many more. We have also learned about past simple irregular verbs with question, did you go out on a beach? Did you eat your dinner? And many more. We have also learned about F and PH phonetic words, scarf, phone, frog, feet, alphabet, and many more. We have also named pictures through games, and we have answered your class book and your yellow book. So I hope you learned a lot from me today and I hope that you're going to answer your class book and your yellow book. See you again on my next class and my Zoom class. Bye!